So we know that the, the relationship between position, velocity, and acceleration, that if we go this way, we take derivatives. And so if we go backwards, we're taking antiderivatives. So the derivative of x is the, <coughs> excuse me, the derivative of the position is the velocity, the derivative of the velocity is the acceleration. So therefore, to go backwards, the antiderivative of the acceleration is the velocity, and the antiderivative of the velocity is the position. So, um, and they even tell you that. They tell you that this is the second derivative of the position. So just go backwards to find the velocity, take an antiderivative, add 1 to the power, divide by what you get. Um, derivative of that is that. And don't forget to tack on an arbitrary constant, a plus c. Um, 6 divided by 2 is 3. I'll clean that up. And so now we can actually figure out what c is because they tell me that when t is 1, v is 0. So v is 0 when t is 1. So this is 0 equals 3 minus 2 plus c. So that's 1. So it looks like c is equaling a negative 1. So therefore, our velocity is 3t squared minus 2t minus a 1. So now we have the velocity. Well, of course, we want position. So just do it one more time. Take another antiderivative. The position is going to be add 1 to the power, divide by what you get. So 3t t cubed divided by 3 minus 2t squared divided by 2 minus t um, plus another arbitrary constant. I'll call it d. And so now, to figure out what that constant is, you just use the information they give you. They say when t is 1, x is 10. So x is 10 when t is 1. So those are canceling. So this is 1 cubed is 1 minus those are canceling. So 1 squared is 1 minus a 1 plus d. So that's 10 equals minus 1 plus d, so it's looking like d is 11, which makes our position function t cubed minus t squared minus t plus 11. And now, almost there, we've got a nice equation for any um, time we want for position. They happen to want when t is 4. So the position at time 4 is going to be 4 cubed minus 4 squared minus 4 plus 11. So that's uh, 64 minus 16 minus 4 plus 11. And I'm so lazy. It's uh, 64 minus 16 minus 4 plus 11 is 55. We look and we hope it's there. Yeah. D. That's that.